Hey everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're not. So for today's video I have a studio tour and I apologise that I'm doing a voiceover intro um, and also that I've been kind of absent for the last couple of weeks. I've been super busy and you might have seen that on the Instagram post I put up. Um, but yeah, so I'm just doing a voiceover intro and outro. Um, this is just a little tour of my studio that I work from, um, from my makeup clients and my filming. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy, hope you find it interesting and leave any comments with any questions you have. So this is from when you walk in the front door and this is what you come into the studio. So we'll just go to the right first. Here's a full length mirror on this side. Hello. Um, I've little coat hooks and I just have this hanging right here, a little mirror that says, I love makeup. And then right here is the toilet. So um, a little sink with a hand food moisturizer from Soap and Glory, soap, a little round white mirror. I love this artwork that I got from Home Store and More. And um, they do a few different prints in this kind of square size from the same artist, Marciano or Marciano 2012. But these pink and white um, lips were just perfect. They do have it in another uh, color. I think it's like a black background with more colorful lips, but this one was perfect for the studio. And then I just have this uh, sweeping brush and pan. It's really cute with like a little sunflower on it that I use just to sweep up in the studio. Um, I have a little pink and white basket with extra bits and pieces. And that's kind of the toilet or bathroom and a little bin and a pink handheld. So then closing that and turning back around this way. This is where the front door is. And right here we have a little sick doggy. I didn't want to move him because he's just, he's quite uncomfortable at the moment. He just had surgery on his knee. So he's nice and cozy here. When he's not in here, the bed just goes under this bench here. Um, so next to the door, just have a little um, table with business cards and flyers and things, a little candle and this glam sign, so that was really cute. And then underneath I just have some bits and pieces, a fan when it gets really hot, which it had done a couple of times last, last year I actually needed a fan. And then sometimes I need like an extra heater, but there's a little umbrella, a fire extinguisher and a first aid kit. So that is right there at the door. So then up from that and along the wall I have my certs framed. So I have two here, two there, one down there and I have another, another frame because I'm sure I have another cert but I need to find where that is to put that up. So coming along this way, this is my little desk where I do my own makeup so I can pull up the blinds and have natural light coming in if it's during the day or I have my ring light here or if I'm filming I'll set up another two lights on the side. So I have my own personal brushes here and I will do a brush collection as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then I just have a few extra little bits, spoolies and spatulas and things and tweezers. And um, that's just the mirror that I use. Those are some lip products that I need to use and post about. And then I just have that basket to the side where I put dirty brushes when they need to be cleaned. So that is where I sit to do my own makeup. Alongside from that, I have my kit bags. So these are what I use for when I'm doing a call out and I'm taking my makeup kit with me. I pack it up in these and I will do a what's in my kit video as well. So you'll see um, inside of those and what I take. Here I just have a little tablet that I basically just use now for um, music. For when I have clients, I just put on Spotify on it and um, have that playing in the background. I keep my um, battery charger for the camera right here. So there's always a second battery charging um, a remote for the TV over there. And then this comes along to my um, like office. Space. So I just have a second monitor here that I can plug in my um, laptop into. I have this little unicorn here and then I have these drawers here on the left hand side. So the first drawer is kind of electronic stuff. So hard drives, connections, SD cards. Second drawer is kind of random I think, yeah. Some folders of just kind of work things and some extra bits like a case for the big camera. And then the third drawer again is kind of extra, some filing stuff that I need to kind of go through and sort, um, receipts, tax stuff, that kind of thing. My old laptop is under there. So that's just kind of storage. Then I have this desk here, again, pink and white, works perfectly. And um, these are from Ikea, as well as this, this, and the piece down there. Most of the furniture in here is Ikea, if not, I'll say otherwise, even like the chair is Ikea. So I'll just sit here and work, and I have just a little, um, pink cup of pens and things, my water, and then this drawer needs to be cleaned out. It's full of stuff that's like to go through and to find a home for and sort, so I need to do that. 
This drawer is usually stuff that I'm kind of using at the moment. And then down here, I just have extra filing stuff and a little thing of current receipts to be filed away. So then up here, I just have my printer and then more drawers, um, like the top drawers, usually kind of pens and stuff. Um, extra paper and things and just more office -y stuff. Have a little bin for recycling. Um, those are brush, extra brushes that I need to do something with. And I have this little kind of dry wipe um, weekly planner that I need to get more use out of. So. so then that is basically this side. And then if we turn around this way, I have my TV which is paused on a Samantha Ravendahl um, vlog. And something that I really want to do is paint this socket, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, I have my heater down here and then over here is basically a whole lot of more storage. Um, I have this spare little heater here if I need extra heat, if I need to heat the place up really quickly. I'll plug that in down at the other end by the door. In the corner is where I keep my um, backdrop. And yeah, these shelves are basically just storage. So they're on the bottom. There's kind of like extra stuff, um, like this pink sheet I used to use as a backdrop. There's like um, some clips for the backdrop. This tripod I think is broken. I don't really use that anymore. Um, a bunch of makeup bags that I will kind of dip in and out of depending what kind of size I need if I'm going away somewhere or if I just want to put something in my bag. So makeup bags of various sizes. Then this is kind of um, make not makeup bags but like I use these little Brown Thomas bags if I pick something up um, from Brown Thomas. I hold on to these because I use them as bins when I'm on a call out for when I'm working because they're just nicer than a little plastic bag but they're still small and neat. And then in this basket, I have um, brush rolls that are empty that I can use. Oh, and in here I have some empty tubes. I thought they were going to come smaller when I, I ordered them ages ago for something that I was decanting. And I thought they were going to be small tubes, but they came really big and I didn't really know what to do with them. For the moment, anyway. Then up here I have my nail polishes. I don't do nails, it's just my own personal nail polishes because I tend to do my nails before I'm filming or something. So I decided to have them all out here and I got these, um, this stand from Amazon. And then up here is kind of just random, um, just like polishing spray and um, hairspray and things. And then this basket is things that I need to repurchase or decant or clean out. And I haven't looked in there in ages, so I need to go through that. And then some extra bits and pieces off the top. Over here then I have two um, Alex drawers. They're the Alex um, Nines. And then on the top, I have a bunch of kind of my most used palettes. And um, these are actually little lights, but I hardly ever turn them on. They just look pretty. And then this basket I use for pulling products when I'm doing um, makeup on myself or filming. So I'll just take this basket and then fill from the drawers what I need. Up here is a little DIY um, piece. It was actually my mother-in-law to be's idea. She got me um, the frame and she had said that she thought that it would be cute to like um, stick on little lipsticks and stuff. So that's exactly what I did. So it was just stuff that I didn't normally use. And then I saw someone on Instagram do this glitter um, lipstick DIY. So I did that to a pink one and I did it to a nude one to make it gold down here. And then I stuck on like eyelashes, lipstick, a broken brush, another lipstick I don't use, more eyelashes. So it just looks cute. So again, I will do a makeup collection. So I'll go through these drawers and stuff in that. Then again, more um, storage and shelving again from Ikea. So up here, I just have this um, little mirror that says stop glamour time. I think that was from um, Penny's. This little candle that I don't ever light. Again, it's from Penny's, fluffy marshmallow. A little jar with nothing in it. I should probably find use for that because I have two of those that are empty. And then this mug, I really like. It came from um, Time LA. But when it came, it actually came broken. So I only glued it up there recently. I had it sitting to the side for ages in bubble wrap. Um, so I just turn it this way and it looks pretty and cute. Then down here, I have another one of those jars. I should get little flowers and put them somewhere else. Um, and these flowers in a little, in a little vase. And then some um, thank you cards from clients. And then this is just like a little wedding uh, brochure thing that I was in. So I have some spare ones of those that I just keep there. And then this shelf is like makeup and beauty books that I don't use enough to be honest. And I want to kind of sit down and go through these more. So there's a range of them from like um, eye candy, this is from like eye makeup looks, the beaut.ie, style me vintage, um, secrets to blogging, fashion and beauty, that's a so sue me book. This is the one from NARS, 
um, Pixie Woo's book. So yeah, I really want to actually sit down and go through through these more. I used to flick through them a lot, but not so much anymore, and I need to. Um, this is makeup to try or post, and actually there's there's a lot of just kind of like packaging in here because I like use the products and put them into my collection, but I'm trying to remember to include them in videos or, or stuff. But it's kind of a mess at the moment, so I need to filter through that and then just like random stuff down here. Um, empty brush cleanser bottles from Mac to do back to Mac, so I'll keep putting them down there and then I'll bring them in and get a lipstick and um, some spare water bottles. And then right on the side there, I have the pink um, couch roll that I use for my um, tabletop. So I'll show you that here. So this is where I work from and um, do my clients. So again, I will do a what's in my kit and in that I'll go through how I um, have my products laid out when I'm just working from the studio and I'll also go through how I store it in my bag when I do a call out. But basically it's two, um, two tables together. So it's one of those ones where you like pick the tabletop and then pick the legs and they're just like the ones that you can make tall or short. So we just made them tall. And I don't really like the fact that you have two legs in the middle, but because I'm working on clients, I generally have them pushed back here so I can kind of get in front anyway. So it doesn't matter, but I just don't like the look of it. So I have plenty of sockets underneath, thanks to my lovely fiance. He's an electrician, he did all the electrics in here. So he also wired up the lighting for me. The um, lighting fixtures are from Ikea, but I had to order in different bulbs from online because the ones that you get in Ikea are warm and um, warm light and I needed cool light ones. So over here I just have a little kind of basket thing of extra bits, so like brush cleanser, wipes, um, makeup remover, that kind of thing. A little tissue, I really love these tissue boxes. I have tissues all over my house because I just, I always have a runny nose and I'm always using tissues. So I got like nice little tissue boxes, so I ordered a pink one for out here. So I keep um, some tissues there little um flyers and price lists and stuff and just a little frame that says don't forget to tag me on facebook and instagram and stuff so then i have my products laid out again i'll go through that and i have these stools came from home store and more i believe so i liked them because they didn't have any um arms on them so they're easier to just kind of get up on and then obviously they go up and down and um, so i can lower them for people if they need and they're nice and padded and comfortable so moving along this side I just have a little kind of tea and coffee area. So I have a kettle, um, oh, I need to put the lid back on this. Um, a little jar for coffee, um, a jar for tea, a jar for sugar. Two little teacups, two glasses. Up here I just have a little um, plate of Ferrero Rocher and a little mini fridge. This is actually broken at the moment, so there's nothing in it, but I'm gonna repurchase a new one and um, that's normally what I, where I'll have um, some little bottles of water and some milk. And then underneath are just some magazines if people are waiting and a little bin for tea bags and things and then i have my pop-up sign that i keep there and i'll use that for if i'm doing like bridal shows and stuff and behind that is where i store my extra lighting for filming so that works out nicely so when i'm filming i just move the sign and take them out and then i have this little cute hanging heart thing i can't remember where i got them probably home storing more i like picking up things from there and then coming back around this way again, I have a little bench again. The bench itself was from Ikea and then the blanket and the cushions were from Time LA. And then this wall is painted a darker pink and I just have a little heart clock up there. And then you're back around to the front door. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. See you guys.